Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do a marble ink print using marbling inks, paper and water. It's something that you can do at home, it's really easy to do, so don't think just because you're stuck at home that you can't do art, because you can. So all you're going to need are um, the marbling inks which you can get on Amazon, you can get online, I bought some from Amazon for about £7 so they're really cheap. You're going to need some white card, I would not recommend using printer paper just because it's so thin that it might leak through the paper. And, and spoil it and it'll sort of fall apart in the water but um, to just get maybe some white card um, that you can also buy online or you can buy them in most supermarkets as well um, so marbling in white card and you're going to need a tray as well I'm going to do mine in the sink today so you can do it in the sink or the bath if you wish to but if you don't want to mess about with that then you can also put it um, in a tray and you get you know just a plastic tray from any supermarket so here are the marbling inks that I told you about so I got these on Amazon for apologies my camera is like in selfie mode so everything is not the way it should be um, so it's marbling ink so this is a scholar marbling ink and I got these from Amazon it was about seven pounds and you get a nice set of them so you get black, yellow, red, blue, orange and green. So it's like a really nice sort of starter kit to get you going and really cheap. And you get quite a lot for your money. So yeah, so I've got that. And then I'm going to be using white card. So this is a piece of white card. I've already marbled on one side, as you remember. But I'm going to marble the other side as well. Um onto my other piece of card just because I want to have it double sided so I can use it for um, doing different pieces of artwork and, and sculptures and things like that. Now I'm just going to show you guys a few different examples of marbling which has lots of different colours in it so I already showed you this example before just trying to get that in focus um, but there's also this um, notebook, maybe you want to do a notebook, which is really pretty. Front and back. So you could maybe get like a white um, sketchbook and then print it. Or maybe you want to just get a normal sketchbook, get some card and then stick that on top of the uh, sketchbook, which would be really lovely. Um, so uh, here are some other prints that I'll show you. So this is like a sort of quite a bluey one that I created. So these are about yeah A2 size. So yeah, quite nice. Light colours again, but it's more sort of like whitey, bluey, greyish. Um, this one here is. Lots of different colours again. Quite bright this one. The colours are a bit more vibrant. I'm just going to go a bit closer there. So yeah, a bit more vibrant this one. Um, and then we have this one here, which is, I kind of think it's like quite bubblegummy, like bubblegum pop. So you've got like kind of light baby blue and, uh, you know, baby girl pink. So it just reminds me of that. And then I've got one last one, which I like is one of my personal favourites that I've done using this technique recently. So I just love the contrast between that darkish blue and yellow. And then I've got like little hints of green and like grey black, which separates them nicely. So I really like this one. That's a really nice favourite of mine. Um but yeah, so I'm going to show you the technique now and um, just run through it step by step with you, okay? So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I've got my water in the sink here and I've got my inks out. So I've decided to use um, blue, red and black and I've not filled up my sink that much just with a bit of water. I've got my prints set up here, so I've cut one of them in half. So now I've got two A4-ish sized piece of paper and I'm going to marble the other side. I've also got some um, 
paint brushes here, so I'm going to use some paint brushes, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So you're going to swirl the ink around to create different patterns and things. So I'll just leave that at the side for now. So first things first, I'm going to get. So the first colour you use is essentially going to be the background. So the colour which will be sort of inhabiting the background of your print. So I want to use black for this. I want to have like a black background and then I'm going to use the red and the blue to contrast each other. So I'm going to, from a distance, say about here, here, I'm going to start to drip. And as you can see, it's already starting to separate and expand in the water. Okay, so I'm just going to do that around the water here. Try not to let them overlap one another. Okay, and you can see it's actually starting to move about. being quite careful when I do it. I need to do that one. Okay. Right, I'm going to leave it there for now. So I've got quite a lot of black ink on the surface now. Okay, so I'm going to now use my red ink. And again, I'm actually going to drip it into the black ink. And then around it as well. So you can see it started to expand within the black ink. And around as well. You don't need to squeeze the top that much to get ink out of it. Okay, right, I'm gonna leave it there for now. You can see, see they just start to slowly expand in the water. Okay, so last colour, I'm going to go for my blue now. Now with the blue, I'm going to try and get it within the red now. The red ink. And you can see that's starting to expand. Quite nicely. See, I've kind of missed that one there. I wanted to get that in there. I'm going to try again. Let's try and be careful with this. Okay. I think maybe one more here. I'm going to leave it there. Two more. Just let them expand a little bit in the water. See, they kind of layer each other up. See, so the black, the pink, and the red. Okay, so it's up to you next if you want to just do your print like that and leave it like that. But I think it'd be nice to start to swirl those patterns into one another. So I'm just kind of going in like a spirally zigzag pattern. If you have a look, contrast between this side and this side now, it kind of flows together a bit more nicely.
see that's quite nice. Okay, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to do my print now. So I'm going to get my piece of card here, and I'm going to lay it out flat in the water. So one side, and then the other. Now, I don't mind that it's going on that side as well because it kind of overlap the different colours. I'm going to press down on the sides just so I know that it's been printed on. And the other side, as you see, kind of curls up at the sides a bit. Okay. And then when I'm happy, I'm going to take it off and there you go. Let's have a look. Okay, so here's the two prints that I've done. So this was the first one and you can see the colours are a lot more richer and contrasted. I quite like that. I think they look really nice together. Um, and then this is like when I did the other print and I stuck it in the water again. Do you see the colours have faded a bit and they're a lot lighter? And you can see the inks have actually gone and dispersed and kind of, kind of a bit like sort of gritty, which I quite like. So very different to that one there. So, you know, it's up to you if you quite like those bold colours or you'd rather have something a bit more subtler in your print. So they're like double sided now. You can see there's one side there and the other one there. I think that one's worked out quite well. I do like that side as well. So I'm going to keep experimenting with this but I just wanted to show you the techniques. It's really easy. Um, let it dry for maybe an hour or so um, and just you know tap it to see if it's ready um, cats here um, yeah she likes it um, yeah so there you go Okay guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you've got any questions, any comments on how to do the marbling techniques, just uh, give me a shout, send me a comment or an email, whatever. But um, I hope you enjoyed it and that you'll do some marbling ink effects yourself. And uh, yeah, have a good day.